Uh-huh. Oh, man, here we, we go. We have rain over on the left. Well, today, Al and our special events guys are helping us out with a weather effects demonstration. If you look at the rain, look a little higher. You'll see sprinklers shooting the water up into the air. When it falls, it looks just like the real stuff. That's how we can create rain here in Hollywood. Hey, thanks, guys. That was great. Guys, can we get the rain, please? Guys, are you even in there? Do your rumbling sound. Uh oh, look at all the left. Remember what I said about getting left, especially from the left hand side. In the first two cars. Don't worry about all that water. We are very water conscious here at NBC Universal. We're not going to waste any of it. It'll be back at the top of the hill in about 15 seconds. We believe in recycling. Yes, we do. Let's see what that flash would look like in the film Big Fat Liar. This is where we are. You can't outrun the wall, kid! Yeah, we'll see about that. Hey, you're funny, folks! <laughs> now we call this area Old Mexico. And this portion of Old Mexico that we're coming into, you've seen in such TV shows as House and Community. You might also recognize it from our hit movie, Hop. But in Hop, this was not a village in Old Mexico. Rather, it was a village in China. What you're seeing on screen was filmed right here. And from Old Mexico, or China as the case may be, we're gonna head over to the Old West. We've done hundreds of westerns here. Take a look. This town ain't big enough for the both of us, Jimmy Fallon. Well, I ain't going anywhere, Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Now look here, the nice folks in this tram don't want no trouble. They just want to check out Six Points, one of the oldest sets on the Universal lot. I hear this is where John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart shot a few of their westerns. That's right. That's where I aim to shoot you. Looks like we got ourselves a Mexican standoff. <laughs> Lucky shot. Now what see you mount up and get out of town while the getting's good. All right. Well, I'll see you again, Fallon. Oh, you can count on it, Fallon. Now get it. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. We just have to talk it out, that's all. Yep, that was filmed right here. We covered the asphalt with dirt. Got everything all westerny. And again, these buildings are just shells and facades used almost exclusively for exterior filming. And remember what I told you about what the buildings are made out of? Perfect example, the last building on the left. From the front, it looks like a brick building, but as we circle around it, you'll see that the bricks really are just fiberglass and two by fours. And that is a perfect example of a facade. There is no back to that building. We were never gonna photograph the back, so we didn't bother to build it. On the right, you'll see a little lake, fans of Desperate Housewives. This is the lake Susan drove her car into way back in season three. We could also film under the water as well. We wouldn't use our lake for the underwater scenes though. We'd use our underwater filming tank. That's the round tank on the left. We fill that tank with water, throw the actors inside. We have the openings around the side. So camera and cameraman stay nice and dry while the actors splash about inside. That tank was used for an episode of the TV series Bones. That's a TV show that does not normally film here on our lot but they've been here a couple of times. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. Right now though, I wanna talk a little more about our lake, the one we're circling. This little lake has been the entire Atlantic Ocean. It's been the entire Pacific Ocean. Just depends on how large the ships are that you photograph on the lake and what angle you photograph them from. Also wanna talk about the Indian Ocean. That's where Skull Island was located. That brings you back to King Kong. When Peter Jackson was making the movie, he used all kinds of special effects, including traditional ones, as in this scene right here. You see the SS Venture approaching Skull Island, but you know what? Both the ship and the island are miniatures. 
We're going to show them to you. And to do that, we're going to take you right through our little lake. Yep, anything's possible. The waters have parted. So as we go through here, please remain seated. Keep your arms and legs inside the tramp and take as many pictures as you'd like. On the left, you'll see the SS Venture and Skull Island. That is as big as Skull Island ever got. It never got any bigger than that. And the ducks, very real ducks. They are not animatronic. At NBC Universal, the whole world is literally just around the corner. We'll prove it going around the corner, taking you into Little Europe, which we can use to represent any European locale simply by changing the language on the signs. And I'll show you a demonstration of that in just a moment. We can use it for all sorts of filming. These streets are probably best known for all the wonderful monsters who used to wander through here. I'll show you some of those as well. But I'm going to be going off the microphone because Little Europe is just below Wisteria Lane, which they're using for Desperate Housewives. I have to be quiet now. Now this soundstage was used for an episode of the TV series Bones. They needed to create a mechanical effect and we had exactly what they were looking for. We're creating a mechanical effect for you today. An 8.3 earthquake on the Richter scale. Please remain seated, hold on to your belongings. This one's the big one. 